大家好，欢迎收听今天这一期的早安英文。我是卡拉。And this is Dylan. So, Kara, remind me again,、uh, what this Chinese holiday is called? 叫黄金周。Huh? You guys call it the Golden Week? 对，因为 it's the Golden Week of the year. We don't work this week. Oh, that makes、mm. sense. Like it's something you have to cherish, right? 对，我们马上就要到这个黄金周了啊，十月一号到十月七号。那这个黄金周呢，我们把它叫做 Golden Week. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So when I use the word gold, I'm actually talking about gold, the substance, like the stuff you find in the ground. But when using golden, I am merely talking about the appearance of something that is like gold, the gold color, the gold appearance, the gold texture. Okay,、mm. things like that. So, 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 Like、uh, golden days would be, refer to something like、uh, the day that is like gold. Okay, it's not actually gold, but it's like gold. <laughs> 对，所以呢，类比啊，也就是为什么我们就是黄金时代啊，或者说黄金岁月最美好的那段日子呢，我们讲的是 golden days。那如果说用 gold 去形容一个名词呢，一般就是表示这个东西是用金子做的。我记得那个时候我们老师总是给我们举例子，一个是 gold watch。A gold watch would be like. A watch that is actually made from gold. 对，就说这个表呢，它就是金子做的。但是呢，如果用 golden 来形容一个名词的话，更多的时候呢是表面上的，就是说呈现出来是金色的。所以呢，如果我讲 golden watch， 它就是说表面上、外观上是金色的一块表。This goes for the word wood too. Wooden means something that is like wood in appearance or feature. Like you could say, that person's stance is really wooden. Like they're not moving around a lot. They're very stiff. 那大家只要记下这一条原则就好了，就举一反三都没有问题。如果说名词 wood 去形容名词的时候呢，就是说这个东西实实在在是用木头做的，就是去，呃。实在的讨论木头这个东西，但是呢，如果你讲 wooden， 它就是说表面呈现出来的状态，比如说木纹的，或者说呃，甚至那种木头似的、呆板僵硬的，都可以用 wooden 这个词来形容。The actor playing the father was too wooden. 啊、uh, ，就是这个呢，就是讲饰演父亲的那个演员啊，太呆板了，太呆滞僵硬了。And both silvery and woolly also refer to the appearance and not the actual substance. So, if someone is really hairy, like has really hairy arms, arms, I can say those person's arms are really woolly. <laughs> 好，那呃， uh, 首先这个 silvery， 它的名词形式是 silver， 啊、yeah. uh, ，就是银色那个单词。然后呢，这个 woolly， 它的名词形式是 wool。Exactly, like the white iPhone, its color is actually called silver, but it's not made from silver. 嗯，所以呢，其实就是刚刚讲了，举一反三啊，都是同样一个意思。那这个 silvery 就是表示银色的，然后这个 woolly 就是像羊毛的。比如说一个人手臂特别多毛啊，你也可以讲他的手臂非常的 woolly. So should we talk about the golden week for this podcast? No, I think our Chinese listeners already know what it is, better than you. Yeah, probably. Huh? <laughs> how about we? How about we talk about、uh, using gold or golden to describe something? We have lots of gold sayings in America. One could say a gold mine of idioms. Exactly. <laughs> Very good.、Mm, I know. I'm amazing, and you're dumb. Uh, now, Kara, don't go breaking the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Oh, 这句话的意思呢，其实就是相当于我们中文当中的“己所不欲，勿施于人”。So let's go over some gold idioms, okay? 
a gold mine. 就是刚刚我讲的那个，它的意思呢，就是金山金矿。As good as gold. 这个呢，就是表示呃像金子一样的好，所以就是表现非常好的，完美无缺的。A heart of gold. 就是像金子一般闪闪发光的心，所以就是非常道德高尚的人。Worth its weight in gold. 形容非常有价值，就是价值可以和金子相比。A gold digger or gold diggers, like Kara. Oh, I, I, I'm not that kind of person, okay? This digger, he is that kind of person who digs. So his literal meaning is a digger. He is that kind of person who digs. So his literal meaning is a digger. Strike gold. This means that you can use gold to find a rich source of information, or to find fortune, or to find happiness and contentment. You can also use strike gold. So, should we move on to the next word? Hmm, I don't know. The bears shit in the woods. Oh, so you want to play the insult game, huh? Yeah. Well, you're in my neck of the woods now, and I don't think you're gonna like how it ends. You know, I wasn't brought up in the woods to be scared by owls. I think I can't handle anything you can throw my way. Oh, I don't think you're out of the woods yet. So let's go over some of the vocabulary words we just talked about. Do bears shit in the woods? You want to explain it? Yeah, this is a rude, <laughs> sarcastic answer to a dumb question. Ah, 就是当别人问了一个很笨的问题的时候。一个答案很明显的问题的时候，你就可以用它来回应，是一个怼人的方式。My neck of the woods means that someone else is unfamiliar with the territory I am in. 嗯，因为这个 neck of the woods 它的意思呢就是地带地段，所以你要讲说什么东西是 my neck of the woods， 就是表示这是我的地盘，你可不要撒野。I wasn't brought up in the woods to be scared of owls. 他的意思就是 I'm not easily frightened. Yeah. 嗯，就是我不是那种会轻易害怕的人。Out of the woods, or no longer in danger or trouble. 这个短语的字面意思呢是说走出了森林，所以呢它就是用来比喻脱离险境或者脱离困境。Another special week is coming up. Oh yeah, which one? Our birthday are coming up. Remember, we're both Libras. Oh God. <laughs> You are such a dyed-in-the-wool believer in astrology. Oh come on, you don't believe in it just a little. Nope, not even the slightest. I don't like people pulling wool over my eyes. Oh. Yeah. So we just used two、uh, idioms there called dyed-in-the-wool. 这个短语的意思呢，就是说你对某一个观念啊，或者说对某一个信念啊。非常的坚信，根深蒂固的，不容易改变的。所以，我呢是一个非常相信星座的人。<laughs> And pull the wool over someone's eyes. 这个是 deceive someone. Deceive someone. Yeah.、Uh, 就是欺骗某人或者 fool someone， 愚弄某人。Now let's talk about the word silver. You mean one of the only words that's impossible to write? Yep. Uh, and the first saying that silver we should talk about is a silver bullet. Silver bullet. Yeah. 就是银色的子弹 Like the only way to kill a werewolf. 是的嗯 Uh, it kind of means to have the only solution to a problem. 嗯，尤其指啊人们寄予厚望的那种新科技、新技术 The next one is a silver line lining. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Or the good part of a bad thing. Uh, it means that 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 然后给大家解释一下这个 silver tongue， 它的意思呢就是指某人口才非常好，或者说他巧舌如簧。一般都是讲 somebody has a silver tongue。对，嗯。The last one is be born with a silver spoon in your mouth。这个其实我们中文当中是直译的，就是讲含着金汤匙啊、哦，这个是银汤匙啊。但我们中文当中讲是含着金汤匙出生，就是。就是那种 rich second generation. Exactly. This means that someone's never had any problems in their life, especially the youth. 对 Okay. Hello, 
welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Well, this has been Dylan with Morning English. 我是卡拉 And you guys have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye.